It's a ghost town now with signs saying the mall at Partridge Creek is temporarily closed because of COVID-19, making the financials here even more dire. The property is owned by Starwood Retail Partners, and according to Trip LLC, four of its properties are underwater, including Partridge. Starwood has defaulted on a $725 million mortgage, and with the coronavirus shutdown, even less money is coming in. But Neil Sater, a bankruptcy attorney at the Sater Law Firm, says it's very unusual for a mall to file a bankruptcy. Typically, if there is a mortgage that is in default and in arrears, and if the uh, borrower, in this case the mall uh, owner, is unable to uh, make payments on that, the banks, you know, a good option for, for many banks or institutional investors is to have a receiver appointed. So will this mall remain? Sater says it's unlikely that the entire mall would close or shutter. On an open air mall that's approximately, you know, less than 15 years old, I would tell you that it's very unlikely that there's going to be any type of, uh, you know, a complete raising of the mall or a, a, you know, destruction of the mall and a total, you know, reformulation of that mall where buildings are destroyed and new facades or new buildings are built. Revenue coming in is also an issue with Nordstrom's closing last year and Carson's closing the year before that, meaning there's no guaranteed reliable source of income anymore. Edward Goodman, a bankruptcy attorney at Goodman & Associates states retail in general is not what it used to be. There's probably not going to be a lot of mega malls built, but these mega malls, uh, given people's propensity to shop online right now, I'd say they're in trouble. And I don't know that anybody would be financing large regional malls. This COVID-19 situation is going to have a major impact on how people think uh, about going shopping. Um, they're going to maybe be more prone to go to the internet and have stuff ordered on. And this is a problem that's been developing long before COVID-19. In Clinton Township, Joseph Ferguson.